I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but um, the most annoying part of making the thumbnails is the episode number. Because I use paint.net, and paint.net does not have any way for me to, uh, like, edit the number after I've, I've put it into the... The, the file, right? Like once it's once it's in the image, it's an image. It's not ne it's not text anymore, right? It's not like rasterized when you save it. It's rasterized immediately. Um, rasterization being, I think, turning like a text or, or an object or, or something that isn't an image into like a PNG or something like that kind of thing. Um, Basically, making it uh, no longer being drawn, and it's 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 now it's an image. It's being drawn as an image instead of with some other renderer. I guess I'm not sure exactly what it is, but uh, when you rasterize text, it's it's no longer text. It's a picture of text. Is the uh, the moral of the story? And uh, so when you write text in Paint.net, it immediately rasterizes it. You cannot edit it because it's no longer text, it's just a picture of the text, right? I think I've talked about that before. And uh, because of this, it makes editing the episode number super annoying because I have to go into the, the paint.net and, uh, like, pick out... Or I, have to, I, have to, I have to go into paint.net, delete the episode number, and then show the episode liner, like, layer which has uh, a couple of lines that I use to, uh, it's downstairs, yeah. That has a couple of lines that I use to line up the number, so that each of the numbers are in the same spot. And then, um, I can, uh, put the number in, the new number in, and line it up with those little lines, make sure it's nice and sort of relatively in the same area every time. Um, and then save it, and that part alone takes probably about half the time of making a thumbnail. So I wrote a script that just overlays the number into that location when a uh, when a new file is saved. So, it'll, so I save the file as like, ep, like ep124.jpg. And when ep124.jpg is uh, saved into the folder, the script will take the EP off and the .jpg off to so be left with 124 and then it'll overlay that text in the Bontrift font at the font size that I use which I can't even remember what it is at this point 130, 120, 105 I can't remember and it'll overlay that number into the image at that point and just overwrite it and um that has been a great help because it means that I just go through, pick the perk and map. No, <laughs> we're we're doing it. I'm just I'm committing. Pick the perk and the map, save it as the the right file number, and the script just adds the number in automatically, and then it just uploads it, and it works pretty much exactly as you would expect, which is amazingly. It's, it's an amazing tool to have. I love it so much. I want to get it to the point where it's also handling the perk and the map itself so that I can just load everything up. But in order to do that, I think I would have to start it at this point every single video. Uh, in order to do that reasonably, anyway. I think I would have to start it there or take like the ending thing. I'm not even sure. Um, I'd have to find some way to identify what map it is in each of the videos, and that script would take a while to run. So I'd have to process, like, not every single frame of the video, but, like, a lot of them until it gets to the point. And then, you know, if I mess up and I accidentally never show nuked in the, the video, I mean, how is the it supposed to know? I mean, I could machine learning it. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! This is exactly what machine learning is for. Hold up. I have a friend. I have a friend who knows a little bit about machine learning. Hold up. Wait, this could be a fun project. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, oh yeah. Like machine learning, it give it like a bunch of videos that are of this map, and then 
just run it through and it should be mostly accurate at least. I would hope. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, that could that could totally. Huh? Yeah, no, that could work. That's a, that's like exactly what machine learning's for, you know. I wonder if I could uh, make it figure out what it's from just from like the byte code of the video. I wonder if there's any way that I could give it just the byte code of the video and be like, yeah, like. This bike, instead of it having to go through the like the frames of the video and like image process it, just like string the, the bike code. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's possible. Maybe. I don't know. I want it to be quick is the thing, right? Although I guess if I have it doing it all automatically from, you know, I, I, I finish recording and it's just done, you know, working on it, then, uh, Going from record the video to pretty much uploaded and scheduled and all the title and description and stuff is edited and whatnot like that could maybe if it takes a little while it's not that bad because it's saving me all of that time but yeah I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to talk to, to this friend of mine and uh, see if he can give me a little bit of a uh, of some pointers on it see if see, see what he has to say about it I don't think he's that great at it but I know that he has some experience with it, and that's that's all you really need to to make this, right? Some level of experience, some level, some degree of knowledge. At the moment, I do not have basically any knowledge on how machine learning works. I mean, I have like some. I could I could do it myself. It's just uh, probably be more accurate if I had uh, a little bit of input, some advice, you know. So I'll, I'll see about that, but that'd be kind of fun. That'd be a good way to do it. And then the perks, I mean, you'd have to give it, that'd be like a whole nother thing, right? I've got, I've got a pretty good sample size though, right? Like a couple hundred, vi or uh, 150-ish videos at this point. I mean, that's, that's something, right? It's probably enough to, to say, you know, yeah, this is, this is this new map. I mean, especially since, you know, it could probably be on a frame by frame basis too, right? Like, I could give it one frame. Like, you give it, like, 150 frames of a specific map. Like, to have 150 videos of a map and then be like, yeah, I need to find other videos. <laughs> what even... I can't even see what killed me. I literally can't even see... Was it that siren? Like, there are no stalkers around here. What on earth was I stuck on? I have no idea. So that could be that could be fun though. Is uh, setting up machine learning from that because like you could give it a screenshot, right? So to have, I mean, if you look at screenshot levels here, right? There's bloody probably millions of them, right? And it's quite a large sample size. So uh, I think it, I think it could be done. I think it could be done. Another thing that I could do actually is use this shader thing to change like a specific pixel on screen and then use the uh, based on the map that I'm in and then use the um, the script to just like read that pixel that's kind of how TVs work right uh, that's how like cable TV anywhere way works they have like the overscan and then in that overscan they send a whole bunch of information that the TV then reads to know like what are you watching and like what's uh who made this and what is it about and when does it end and you know all this kind of stuff all that information is stored in the overscan spot which is why when you uh load up like a console or something it's uh like cutting off the edges because those edges the tv is expecting to be nothing because it should just be information about um like what you're watching if it, if it was a uh, cable tv anyway so, uh, kind of a similar thing is uh, I could just have it record in slightly larger than 1080p and then have it, uh, based on the map that I'm in, just put the information about it there, use the script to find that, crop it out, and uh, go with that way. I'd have to find some way for, I guess, OBS to add that information in, so I'd have to have some way of OBS getting what game I'm playing. 
and then record in like a slightly weird resolution with a little bit of extra space that uh, then gets cropped out. And then I'd have to remember to change that resolution if I'm recording something else. Uh, and then have the script go in, crop it out, grab the information, and uh, it could work, I guess. That's one option. Not the option I'd like to do, though. The machine learning sounds like fun. So that's what I want to do. It's right there. So we'll see if I can get that to work. I've never done any machine learning stuff before, though, so... I don't know how well it'll work. We'll see. At the very least, though, it's adding the episode number, which is just such a huge help. Because that was just such a pain in the butt before. Now I don't have to do it. I haven't added a, an episode number to something manually in so long. It's great. But yeah, having a hotkey to push that would just go from, like, the files to uh, to having the thumbnails and everything uploaded and edited and all that, that would be fantastic. Just to, to record it and then hit the, like, go do it button on my keyboard. You know, like, that would be so good. It's probably a mod, right? Like a, a, a an add-on for KF2 where it would do that. If nothing else, I can maybe make one, right? Then I could have OBS store that information. Maybe I could even store it in, like, the metadata or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking. I'm just trying to think about how I could do this in a way that makes it... I'll invest the time up front, you know, happily, happily, but it's, uh, what are you doing, buddy? Keep moving, don't stop moving, I keep not doing that, and uh, it gets me killed. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, uh, it could be fun. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> that would be any way to get around that. So, um, I was working on my website, and I've got the uh, the RS3 Adventurers log there. Oh, that thing just annoys me, man. So they've got, uh, you know, I kill, I farm Abyssal Demons, which are uh, very, very, very low, extremely low um, activity to, to be able to do that for, like, basically as long as I want. Like, I can go for two hours and touch it, touch, touch, touch RuneScape, like maybe like 20 times in those two hours you know like it, it I don't I don't have to interact with it much so yeah I do that quite often and um, so my adventurers log is often like you know killing abyssal demons and finding loot from it but one of the items that you get is the abyssal whip which is uh, a weapon one-handed weapon and when you get it your adventurers log says, I killed a abyssal demon, or after killing a abyssal demon, it dropped an abyssal whip. Abyssal whip isn't capitalized, abyssal demon is capitalized, and it says a abyssal demon and an abyssal whip, and I'm like, I just want it to be right, and then it's kind of like awkwardly worded anyway, like, after killing a abyssal demon, it dropped an abyssal whip. Like, just, just say you killed an abyssal demon and found an abyssal whip. So I, uh, I put in a bit of time to... To fix that, sort of, I'm still not able to get the capitalization working on it too well. Well, that was a whiff. Still not able to get the capitalization on it uh, so well because I mean, it, it, yeah, I have to think about how I'm gonna like parse that. Like, how many how many words is all of the weapons? Like, like how many words is all the drops that could be there, right? And then could there be anything after that? I don't know. So it's. Uh, it's a bit of a process working it out and thinking about how it's all gonna happen, but I got it working a little bit nicer. My adventurer's log looks better than your adventurer's log, and that's all that matters. But it was it was frustrating. So I made a post on the uh, the RuneScape subreddit asking if like we could just make it like grammatically correct and less awkward. Got downvoted to oblivion. Pure like, well you have grammar mistakes on the new one too, because I didn't like capitalize the abyssal whip, and they didn't like that I had a comma in it. And they're like, like. It, does, it doesn't take away from the fact that, like, the, 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 the original one is still wrong. It should still be fixed. Like, come on. You're just being needlessly contrarian at this point. But, you know, whatever. It's all good. 
I'm having fun working on the website. I am. To a certain extent. I'm having... No. No. I'm not having fun working on the website, but I'm having fun... Um, having a website that looks better. Um, is, is what I'll say. The, the actual process of working on it, writing the code for it, is not fun. But... When it's done, I, I get to feel really good about it, and that's, uh, that's, I guess, fun. Sure. We'll say it's fun. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. What was I talking about, anyway? Can't even remember. It's hard to remember these things. I remember things that I was talking about in general, but, like, in this episode, I don't even know. You try maintaining a stream of consciousness for like 20 minutes and not mess it up. It's hard, man. It's hard. I don't know my impression of other YouTubers. <laughs> that's 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 my other YouTuber's impression. It's no good, man. You can do I can do that all day long. But you want me to have a conversation with myself? Talk to myself? Maintain this consciousness? This... This constant... State of... Awareness? It's exhausting, man. I love it, though. I love it so much. It's very fun. But... Very hard, man. It's hard to remember what I'm talking about. It's hard to... Honestly, just keep a thing going. I mean, I, I find it hard to keep a, a single topic going in, in person in the first place. Like, I'll get distracted easily. I'll distract it super easy. All right, I see shiny, and I'm like, oh yeah, shiny. You know? Yeah, there's not even any music right now. That's the part that really gets me about the, the in-game music. I mean, it's just... It's good music. But honestly, if I'm going to play it, I should probably just play it off the game, because in the game, it's just, like, not really there. Trust me, I know that the game audio is low in the first place, you know? Like, I get it. I get it. Right? The game audio is low, it's quiet. Y'all can barely hear anything anyway. I can't even hear the music, and it's loud for me. Like, I can barely hear the music. You know what? Like, let's try and turn it up a little bit more, I guess. Like, it's already pretty high. Yeah, that's a lot louder. But, like, it's quiet. Now. I just I don't like that. I want it to be consistent. And it's not. Like, you get the, the scrakes yelling and the music dies down to make sure you can hear it. I just, I don't need that. I can hear it over the music. It's okay, and if I don't hear it, that's my fault. Just let me get dusted by the scrakes. I don't know, maybe there's a setting to, to make it not do that. I haven't found it. I have not found it. Get out of here, scrake. Is that scrake still, like, slashing me when he was dead? So I feel like I got, I feel like I took a hit from his chainsaw, but maybe he was just flailing around, being all rag dolly. Can't respect that. Can't respect the rag doll. I love the rag doll though. The rag doll's funny. I love when they die and they just flare on you. Know what I really love is playing as a support with the double boomstick and just launching stuff. Like, maybe we'll try some support next time. We're not going to win. Probably, because I can't really win as support. I'm not good at it. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of scrakes. There's too many scrakes. There's too many scrakes on my plane. There's a map called Scrakes on a Plane or something. Scrakes on a Plane? Yeah, Scrakes on a Plane. I might play it someday. I don't know if it's all scrakes, or... It'd be cool if it was all scrakes all the time. Like, if all the spawns were replaced with scrakes. Like, bring it. That'd be sick. I'm into that. But I'm not sure if that's what it is. I mean, I, I haven't played it, so I have no way. Like, I, I do not know. I have no idea for what it is. Like, that girl, she just did cartwheel. And it's not even, like, the cartwheel that she wanted to do. 
That was an accidental cartwheel that she got she got thrown out of uh, existence. The siren kind of annoys me because you can still hear the the original siren sound, right? Like you get the whoa thing, but you also get the the original normal siren noise. And I'm just I'm not into it. This is too many husks. I'm gonna explode the husks. I hope I exploded some husks. I exploded something. I got 39 39 dosh out of it. Get out of here. And you too. And also you. Another husk. Fitting. You would be another husk. Monster. I wanted to reef autofill, please. Thank you. Break time's over. We got the matriarch. Let's go. This should be mighty easy. I've gotten so much better at fighting the matriarch lately. Bring it. Bring it. Do what you want. Yeah, I didn't think you would. What are, you, what are you going that way for? Can you not fit through this doorway? I don't like you going around that way, though. Because you get, like, that little bit of extra distance, you know? Come this way. Yeah, I don't like it because she gets that little bit of extra reach because she's, like, looking around the right, you know, and I can't see her. It's just... It's Stuck on a door. Not fair. Not fair. You cheated. That's cheating. This is going to be fine. This will be utterly, completely fine. This will work out okay. You might not even have to worry about the EDARs, honestly, because this is going real quick. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I thought we might be able to make it. But, nah, if I kept her kite in the right way around, I think I would have been able to take her out a little bit more accurately with the deagles. But, hey, you know? It was worth a try. If that EDAR trapper didn't get me, I think she would have been down. But he definitely did. So, oh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.